So it's been like two months since the actual pageant has gone on and I competed in and it's um I'm here in like my dorm as you guys can see but basically I just want to kind of like use this portion of the video to reflect on my experience in the pageant and what pageantry was like for me being it for it being my first time and stuff so start off as you guys may have saw the footage like it was it was like that. That was actual footage from the event, what the event was like. So behind the scenes, well, so first we're going to start off with like my prepping for it. I did not prep, as you guys see in the video and uh, some of the footage that I got from the summer, I did not prep at all. I went to the consultation with like, you know, a meal plan person or a diet, whatever, I don't know the correct term, but nutritionist. I went in the summer and consulted with a nutritionist that uh, Van Bros provided or and I was like motivated to actually try and you know get my body right do the correct workouts get my body fat level to the ideal and also eat healthy and stuff like that because I've always uh suffered from not eating healthy and just going to junk food so I wanted to actually try that especially for this pageant because I really wanted to be the title holder I mean, that's why I decided to do the pageant was to hopefully win the title and then be able to impact and spread my message to other people. But unfortunately, that did not happen. But yeah, so I did very to little prep and I was super busy because I was becoming a freshman in college. So I was moving in my dorm and uh, preparing for school and doing stuff like that and trying to get used to a new atmosphere and having anxiety about that and then also trying to like put in the back of my brain like oh the pageant's coming up like whew, we don't need to worry about that because that's far away until the pageant literally came up so the first week of college it was Labor Day weekend and that was the day of the pa the weekend of the pageant I got my dress the Friday before so I went to Bridal Elegance I got my dress. It was one of the first dresses that I saw and I picked and I was like, I really like that color. Like, I think this is going to be it. Tried it on, picked out like two other dresses, tried that blue teal dress, fell in love. Like, I, I, I knew it was the dress that I wanted to wear and that I wanted right then and there. So we bought it and then I walked in it and there wasn't like, like I couldn't like walk without stepping on top of it because of the long tail that it had. So we asked if like if they knew anybody that we could recommend and stuff like that so they did recommend us this girl hannah who is literally a lifesaver if it wasn't for her which she has worked with many pageant girls and has done some amazing work and she her office is literally her shop is filled with pageant girls and them in pictures and her tailoring their dresses so it was really cool seeing all the past title holders from different states like people flew out and would drive to come see her so I was thankful that she took us in because she literally did not have any time for us to fit into her schedule. So I was very thankful and grateful. And she worked on the dress for me until next Friday, which was the day I had to leave for the pageant. So that happened. There was a few hiccups and stuff like that. Like it just wasn't, like it was so close. I was being able to walk in it for like a good like six steps and then I would step on something. So on the dress. So she fixed that and she was worried about it she was like listen i'm like i'm trying my best i just if you guys would have came in earlier and we we're like we understand so i had that issue with the dress that nobody knew about and then she finally like got it to where i was able to walk in it perfectly so i was like listen it's fine with me so we thanked her and we went and we drove um i packed lightly i mean i got all my outfits from bridal elegance i got my interview outfit i got my fashion opening number outfit and I got my dress from there. The only thing I did not get from Bridal Elegance was my banquet dress, which is from my great-grandmother that was passed down. So that was super cool. So that's what I packed, and then obviously pajamas and toiletries. I did have a makeup and hair artist for the pageant, Marcus Geeter. So uh, definitely shout out to him. Thank you so much for literally making me look beautiful and feel beautiful. Appreciate you so much, Marcus. And um, Marcus is a sweetheart. He was recommended by the 
pageant company Vambros. So I chose with him. Um, he did my makeup for everything for the opening number, for the evening ceremony, for the Saturday and Monday shows. So yeah, he did my makeup for pictures and everything. So I was very thankful for him. So I did have that. And that's about it when it came to just like the basics of like how I got ready and stuff like that. So the scheduling was tight. We spent most of our days rehearsing for the shows. The rehearsals weren't too... It was tiring because we were up since early. I had gotten there at 1.30 a.m. to the hotel in Bloomington. And then I had to be up at 6 to do hair and makeup. And then we had to do registration at 8.30. So it was very tiring. And then we weren't done with our day until about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock with eating lunch and dinner in between because we were just basically rehearsing, rehearsing, rehearsing. So that was the main focus was rehearsing because they combined the Miss Illinois show and the Miss Teen show into one. So it wasn't two separate shows, it was everyone. So rehearsals were long. Sunday was interview. We did our interviews in the morning and then we had a banquet later on that day. So it was mo mainly chill, but it actually wasn't chill because it was interviewing the judges. So this is like, this was a very important part of the competition. Same thing went for Monday. We rehearsed um till morning until showtime full dress rehearsal everyone whole thing and then we rehearsed basically how it would be for the semi-finalists and for the top five and then the crowning ceremony so we just rehearsed that with everyone so now on to the whole judging aspect so the judges we had the first saturday night consisted of our fashion intro so basically us pre presenting ourselves in our opening number outfit and then we had us coming out in active wear or swimwear for Miss Illinois. And then we had our evening gown. So basically, we didn't have to do anything much but change into our outfits, walk across, smile, leave, exit, get changed again to our different clothes, and basically do that until the end of the night. That uh, consisted of, I think, it, I think it was on a scale of 1 to 10. The judges just rated us based on our looks, our first impressions, and our appearance and stuff like that. So that's what happened Saturday night. Sunday morning was interview. So interview also tied in with that judging base combined. They had a new separate judging sheet, but still same thing, 1 to 10, based on the interview. Um, how do you think this contestant did? Uh, thoughts? You just circle 1 to 10. So the judges were based on that. And then based on your Saturday night score and your Sunday interview score, those combined moved you on until the se to the semifinals. So they announced the semifinalists on Monday's afternoon show and it was top 13 initially but top 14 with, they did f top 14 because they added another girl that they wanted to put into the semifinalists. It was 14 semifinalists. Then what we did to be top five was that we had to change into our sportswear and an evening gown come out, didn't have to speak, just come out, show ourselves again, then change, do the same thing, show ourselves in our evening gown, and then change, and then when we come back, they would announce the top five. So that was a completely different scoring. I think it was out of 10 again, but it was just based on appearance again, and like just if you still wanted that girl or you think that that girl is worthy of being top five. So it was all based on opinion for the judges, and... It was a new slate, a new judging system, whatever happened in Saturday and Sunday's judging scores got erased, like it didn't matter because it was a new set of judges. As So you didn't really have anything to guarantee like, oh, I should have a spot. It just depends on the judges and what they feel and if they feel like they still want you. So I was lucky enough to be put in the top five and basically you stay in your evening gown attire and you answer the on-stage interview you do not get judged because of your on-stage interview that has nothing to do with the scoring sheet the on-stage interview does not have anything to do correlate with the scoring sheet for the judges or anything like that's not even an option or category on it's just you know just for the people to basically and the judges to hear what you have to say with these tough questions and issues and stuff like that so i gave my answer so then basically after that they talk amongst themselves and write down who they believe should be the state title holder and they go in order so like fourth runner-up who they think is fourth runner-up third second first and then winner 
So that's basically how it went, and I got first runner-up for my first pageant ever. So I was literally, I'm still like over the moon about it. I am so grateful and blessed that I was able to go that far in my first ever pageant competition with such little prepping and not being coached and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it definitely boosted my confidence within myself because I'm like, wow, I didn't expect like this outcome, especially with... It's, it was very intimidating going in because I was like, okay, there's some girls that have been doing pageantry for since they were little girls. This is my first time for all of it and everything, and I didn't do, I didn't know what goes on in pageantry. I would look on YouTube videos and look, like, literally the week before I was here in my dorm searching, like, how to smile correctly, like, what's the, fa like, the correct facials that they would want you to see, what captivates the judges and the audiences and stuff like that, but I didn't trust what other people were saying or... I don't know, it was just a whole bunch of nerves. I was so intimidated because I was like, well, there's girls who have already done this competition before, there's girls who have been prepping for this, and I haven't. So I'm like, it's literally just luck. And that's how I, I didn't look at the other girls as competition anymore so much because once I found out how many girls were new and this was their first time and stuff, or how many girls were doing it again because they didn't get to win, it was just like we're all in the same boat we're all full of nerves and anxiety and anxiousness and you know self-doubting ourselves or looking at other girls and comparing so it, it it was kind of nice to realize that and I feel like most of the girls that I met were on the same boat as me and realizing like I'm not competing against you like this is like I'm competing against myself to see how far I can push myself and what's the best version of myself so that was basically a main focus um and yeah, the girls that I met, every girl was very sweet and super nice, and we all as a group bonded together. It's just nice because you do like build those, you know, friendships. We were we were dying laughing like by, backstage, like waiting and rehearsing. It was just so much fun because you basically spent the entire day with them. So like, it was just fun. So yeah, I mean, I gained some friendships. I also got to, you know, I consider Amaya the past state title holder a friend now and. Her family reached out and everybody, even Miss Illinois contestants, I'm friends with and we follow on social media and stuff and we still keep in contact. So it's just very nice to see girls supporting girls, like women empowerment all the way. I'm so here for it and it's such a major thing. I'm so glad that it's becoming more and more important because that's what girls really need to hear. They need to have somebody in their corner. I feel like everybody needs to have somebody in the corner. It's just nice to have a nice little support system and doing pageantry you know, for me, at least my experience with pageantry created that support system. And yeah, the workers and the employees who were helping and the staff was just super amazing and nice and supportive and so helpful. Without them, I don't think like I would be able to get into my dress. Like it was just, I was so thankful and grateful for the experience. I loved it. Uh, definitely a confidence booster. It teaches you about yourself. It teaches you self-discipline. Um, prepping for it and even while you're there to not let those negative thoughts you have to be in a positive environment which is kind of hard to be in when you're full of girls who are nervous and running around and frantic and everybody's just doing their own thing but you have to learn how to center yourself and remind yourself that you're here for a reason you matter just as much as everyone else and whether you have a crown on your head or you don't like you're not you're here to be you and showcase to yourself. A question that a lot of people have been wondering and asking if, if I would be competing for Miss Illinois USA next year because I am officially not qualified to compete in the Miss Teen because I'm 18 now. So um, to answer your guys' question, I will not be competing for Miss Illinois USA this year because I want to focus on school because I feel like I didn't get enough time to, you know, enjoy. I've been super busy, but definitely I will be competing for Miss Illinois USA sometime in the near future when everything works out, when I have my school situation done and um, to the way I want it. And yeah, I definitely won't miss that opportunity that is just amazing so if you're wondering or interested in signing up to be a part of the Miss Illinois USA pageant or a Miss Illinois Teen USA pageant click the link in my description and I'll take you to the website where you need to know all the information 
and stuff like that. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys learned something. I'll see you guys in my next video and I'm so sorry for the lighting, oh my gosh. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces.